So now let us talk about the movements in human body, right? So human body is our body. In our body we have movements. We are able to perform so many things. Have you ever seen Olympics? They are the athletes performing different, different, different tasks. So to do so, they use their limbs, hands and legs, right? So human body, it's a very flexible design. We have so many joints that enable us to produce movement in different directions. So by that you can achieve so many tasks. Right. So here we have the skeleton. That means how the bones are arranged in our body. So you know the skeleton is the internal framework of your body. So that is the internal frame on which all the organs, muscles, skin, everything is arranged, packed. On the base what is the base that is the skeleton now let us identify the joints the location of the joints at which places in our body we have joints and what are those joints and what is their function actually what kind of movement or rotation they allow let us identify some joints here let us see some important joints there are so many joints in our body just we're talking about the important ones right so here we have a joint that is a joint between our skull and the neck, the head and neck. There is a joint in the neck. We find some joint in the shoulders. Here we have some joint with the hands. The hands are attached to the frame here at this point. Right. So here I give number two. Here we have joints three and here we have joint and again here we have a joint, here we have a joint, here we have a joint. So all these are joints. I, as I told you that there are so many joints in our body. But we are discussing about a few which are very important. Especially which are placed in our hands and legs that is in the limbs. Now see in the human body we find these joints. Let us discuss about each joint and their function and their flexibility. You can try some motions before we discuss what are these joints and their functions and structure. We can see just look at your body. Right, right. Now you see that how much movement is allowed in each part of your body, in your hands and legs. Just you can feel like you are throwing a ball. Now you are the bowler. You are playing for the cricket team. So now take a ball and throw the ball. Right. Or observe a bowler who, how he bowls the ball. You can see the bowler, he takes the ball in his hand and he rotates its, his hand completely. You can see the rotation, right? So the hand is getting rotated at which point it is rotated at this particular point. So what is the angle of rotation? 360 degrees, right? So that means this particular joint it allows 360 degrees so now the bowler decided not to use this joint he wanted to use only this joint to rotate 360 degrees is it possible to rotate 360 degrees so as he is rotating from here he wanted to rotate only at this point he wanted to turn the lower half of the hand circular is it possible no only till here then there is no more movement here. It is stuck over here. You can open your hand till here. That's all. You cannot bend the lower arm till down. You may break the joint. So that is why where you can observe that certain joints are limited up to certain angle. They cannot be turned more. They cannot be moved further. Right? So you are doing your jobs with your hands. You are lifting something. You are keeping something at some height. You are rotating something. You are pushing something. So in all these cases you can see that you can feel the limitation of your joint till what extent it is allowing you to move. Right? So there you can find some difference in the movement. So that we can observe here. At this particular point you can see the hand you can rotate it 360 degrees. But whereas at this particular point number 3 you can't do that just you can bend only up to some extent that's all right and even your neck you can see you can just slide like this 
but you cannot turn your head 360 degrees as like your hand it's not possible and you cannot do at, at this particular point at your knees you can just bend your legs but again at this point at this particular point at number five you can rotate your leg to maximum extent right so now let us go to that labeling the names of this particular joints right so location it's clear to you you can see that where they are located in your body so now let us see what are these joints as I told you earlier in our body we have different types of joints mainly there are two kinds fixed joints movable joints here we are talking about the movable joints movable joints so what is the other type it is fixed fixed joints okay we'll talk about the fixed joints later now let's see the movable joints the movable joints here I have given the number and I have shown the location where the movable joints are placed in our body right so here the joint that is found between the head and neck is pivot joint so it is a kind of movable joint pivot joint so the pivot is like a point on which another part of the joint is fixed so by that it can rotate like this so that is a pivot I can draw a simple diagram to show that say if this is the object now you can see that this is a one particular part of this joint this is part A part B so now see that part B is resting on A and it is allowed to rotate up to some extent you can rotate your head you can bend your head you can rotate your head so up to some extent so that is allowed by the pivot joint right the next one is the two number two it is the ball and socket joint ball and socket so ball and socket what is this ball and socket why it is called as ball and socket because the shape of the joint is like a ball in a socket this particular point that is at the shoulder if you zoom it and see that there we have a socket kind of arrangement into which the bone is fixed like this so this is the bone which is fixed in the socket this is the socket this is the bone which is like a ball so it is called as ball and socket arrangement this ball and socket arrangement allow the bone to rotate it up to maximum angle you can see that I have shown you a bowler he rotates his arm 360 degrees because this particular joint the ball and socket joint it allow the maximum rotation right so that is found in the shoulder and it is also found at the hip region the thigh bone it is attached to the hip girdle by ball and socket joint so ball and socket joint is found in the hip as well as in the shoulder the next one is hinge joint hinge joint what is a hinge you know the hinges of a door doors have hinges to open and close them the hinges are made up of either iron steel or brass what do they do they allow the opening movement in one direction the hinges just they are like opening and closing of a book they open and close the hinge joints are found in the elbows and in the knees so you see your elbow it opens up to some extent that's all 180 degree you can open your hand like this you cannot bend your hand still further more because your hinge joint it is allowing the movement only till here that is a hinge joint right so hinge joints are found in the elbows and knees that is the hinge joint so we have some more joints you can see the number seven and we can see the number four these are sliding joints in your hands you have in your wrist you have a sliding joint here you have a sliding joint just it slides like that so all these are the movable joints but we have some more joints which are fixed 
you cannot find any movement in them. Say for example, you are talking and you are eating, you are moving your mouth, you are opening your lower jaw. You are able to make some movement over here. But whereas your upper jaw you cannot move because the upper jaw is fixed in the skull. So your upper jaw is having a joint with the skull but it is a fixed joint. In the same way, your skull is not a single bone. Your skull is made up of so many bones. These bones are attached together. They are jointed by fixed joint. So likewise, in your body you have so many fixed joints. Right? So here we are discussing about the movable joints. What are the major movable joints that we find in our body are pivot joint, ball and socket joint and hinge joint. Right? So joints allow movement. So where do we find the joints? We find the joints between the bones. The collection of bones together called as skeleton. So the collection of bones, the framework of our body is called as skeleton. What is skeleton? Framework of our body. So what is the major function? It has two main functions. The skeleton, it gives support and protection to our body and internal organs and it allows us to move. So movement is possible in animals, it is because of the skeleton, right? And the support and strength to stand, to do different activities, it is possible because of the skeleton. Now let us see some important parts of the skeleton and their functions. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.